Good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you. We're going to work with Tube. Hope you're today. Hope you're feeling grand and always well in your world. I am feeling beyond spaced out now because of our intro jam. That was. That was a lot of fun, and it just took me elsewhere, and that was nice. And it felt like five seconds, unfortunately, but it was it was worth it. I mean, <laughs> it was it was ace. I love it. I love when music does that. Anyway. That aside, people with Tube, I've been hinting at it for the videos this week. I finally have another Marshall ABT150H. Now, I've had, uh, I think I've had, uh, I, I did do a video on one of these uh, years ago now. I can't remember, I think it's like 2018 or something like that. I had one of these. Uh, I had a, the, the matching cab and it just wasn't very good. It was all right. But it wasn't great. It wasn't a good amp. And I've had another one of these before that. And that was terrible. And that didn't last very long at all. And I've played through quite a few of these AVTs in my time. And they've always been kind of... Yeah. Well, it's not bad. And for some reason... Um, I was sc scouting around Facebook Marketplace one night and... As I do, I always look on there for gear because you can find really cool stuff on there. Um, this head appeared. Marshall AVT 150 uh, for sale. And I was just, I don't know why. I've played through all of them and they've just kind of been a bit kind of, I've, I've played through so many of these and it was just a bit, they're all, they've all just been a bit kind of like, like I said, yeah, good, all right. They have a fizz most of the time these ABTs and it's just like I don't I can't get a, I can't abide it there's a frequency above the tone and I don't like it anyway for some reason unbeknownst to me a feeling came over me and it said you need that one you need to buy it and it was a really good price and I was like what really I mean I had one a while back it wasn't very good I mean do you remember we sold it fairly rapidly it's, but there was this feeling in me of you need to get it you need to get it. And I was just like, mm, I don't really know why you want me to get this one, but okay, let's go for it. Anyway, messaged the guy. Uh, he very kindly delivered it to me. This was in Worcester. This was, this was uh, Queen. I was at Queenie's at the time. And uh, the guy delivered it to me. And I just thought, oh, cool, yeah, it's an AVT. It did come with the foot switch, but the foot switch is totaled, unfortunately. So I won't be using that today, people tube, sadly. It's... Uh, it's rusty beyond, and it doesn't work. Barely. Well, it does occasionally, but it doesn't work very well. So I'm without the foot switch, but that's okay. Um, but um, I wasn't interested in that. I was interested. So I took it upstairs, plugged it into my own Marshall cab, and proceeded to be well and truly blown out of my shoes and socks. This, I don't know why... This AVT is the best Marshall AVT I've ever played through. And it was so weird how it came to be. Like I said, I wasn't in I wasn't even looking for another AVT. I was just kind of like, well, you know, they're just not my kind of amp, you know, they've got that fizz and buzz and I don't like it. And then like I said, I plugged this thing in and then all of a sudden it was just there. And I was like, you've got to be kidding. So I immediately had it apart and checked. I, I, I wondered if somebody had changed the preamp valve, because he's a hybrid amp. So they have a uh, a little ECC83 uh, 12 AX7 in the uh, preamp section of Overdrive 1 and Overdrive 2. And I thought maybe somebody had changed the valve. And no, they haven't. It's the original Marshall valve uh, in there, the pre preamp. 
So I was like, well, what have they done? Have they modded it? And I was looking around it and no mods. This, this amp is as it is. You know, when it left the factory, this is what it was. So I was just like, that's meant to be. That is meant to be. So this is a magic amp. It really is. It sounds phenomenal. It really does. The clean channel, OD1, OD2. Oh my God, the effects in this thing are to die for. You heard in the intro, I was using uh, one of the, is it the halls? Yeah, I was using one of the hall delays. I had the adjust all the way up. So it's like massive, massive space. And the mix quite high, so it really, it's really spacey, and you can just get lost in that sound for hours, and it's just heavenly. Um, it does suffer from the major issue that quite a lot of these old Marshalls uh, from uh, early 2000s suffer from, in the fact that the clean channel is massively overpowered compared to the overdrive channel. So. Uh, to get it balanced out, PewDiePie, what I've had to do is I've had to run the clean channel's volume at nine, nine o'clock in relation to Overdrive 1 and Overdrive 2 that are on 10. Uh, and the reason for that being is I'm not using the EQ. Uh, bass, middle, treble on the drive channels are on zero as per usual. I am using the presence though because I love presence. Uh, so I'm not using them, and the higher you get those EQs, the, the louder the amp gets. It still doesn't match to the clean channel at all ever uh but it gets a little bit closer but it's still a good country mile off um okay i just realized there's a massive slice in my finger and i was wondering why my finger hurt and I'll, that'll be why i've just realized i've got a massive slice in it how did that happen i don't know anyway moving along back to the amp uh we're not bleeding so it's okay um so yeah, it, it's there. it's out of whack it's basically out of whack if you want to use a clean channel you have to turn it down a long way and uh, basically gun the master volume. I've got the master volume on seven right now. Uh, so it's a bit kind of like, meh. But, but, there is a plus side to this. The clean channel is amazing for pedals. The, and, and because it's really clean and loud and tons of headroom, it does not break up. The clean channel on these AVTs is amazing for pedals. Uh, I won't be plugging any pedals in today, though. I'm, I, I just want to show you the amp straight in. Uh, but it does... I, I, I do have a video uh, that I did years ago where I did have my pedal board running through it and it sounded amazing. And this is no exception. This sounds absolutely stunning. Um, it's just an amazing amp. It really is for, for that kind of thing. Also, people said to you, what we're going to do today is we're going to also plug an acoustic in. So uh, that brings me nice and neatly to what the hell... If, if, if you've never seen one of these before, what the hell is it? So the Marshall AVT stands for Advanced Valve Technology. And this is a 150 watt hybrid head. It's not solid state. It's not valve. It's in the middle. It's got a little, like I say, 12AX7 in it. It's a four channel amp. You've got a clean channel, overdrive one, overdrive two. You've got an acoustic simulator channel, which I think is actually really fun. Um, you've got a global presence control that goes over all four channels. Uh, you have free band EQ for each channel. So you've got free band for Acoustic Simulator and Clean. It's shared between them. Then you've got free band EQ for Overdrive 1 and Overdrive 2. It's shared between them. Uh, master Volume, you've got an effects loop volume as well. So if you're running things in an effects loop, you can control how loud you want that, which is I, I like that idea. Uh, you've got an effects section over here. You've got, you've got 16 effects in this thing. Uh, you can only run one at a time on each channel. So you can run one effect over overdrive one and overdrive two and you can only run one effect over clean and acoustic uh but the effects in it are great so you have like hall reverb room reverbs plate reverbs gated reverb which is just weird uh chorus flange delay chorus chorus room which is like a chorusy room reverb sound it's a bit weird uh chorus delay and room which is quite fun and modulation which is very fun uh, I'll try and go through as many of the effects as I can today for YouTube as well, because it's really cool. Uh, on the channels as well, you've got a bright switch on the clean channel, you've, and you've got a scoop switch on overdrive and OD1. Uh, OD1 and OD2, which I won't be using, because it makes us, it sound like crap, lack of a better word. It just scoops all the mid-range out, and uh, being a mid-range fanatic, I cannot abide that. So I won't be doing the scoop dial. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. I might put it on for a second. Anyway, like I said, I didn't want to use any pedals today, Peter. I just wanted to show you the amp straight in with a couple of different guitars. So, what we're going to do 
uh, I'm gonna I'm just gonna go through each channel with uh, some different guitars and basically mess about with it and let you hear what this thing's capable. Of. Like I said, I probably won't be uh, messing around with the EQ at all. I might boost up the presence a little bit when I plug in a Les Paul uh, or a humbucker guitar. I don't think it'll be a Les Paul today, um, but it'll be a guitar with two humbuckers. Uh, so just let you know, I've got it set up so far. Clean channel is set up with gain all the way up on 10. Uh, volume is at nine o'clock. Uh, no bass. Uh, middle is at two o'clock. Uh, no treble. Presence. The global presence is at two o'clock as well. It's never going to move from there, probably. It's probably going to stay there. If it goes anywhere, it'll go to 10, but I don't know. Uh, so that's how the clean channel sell. The acoustic sim simulator channel, I will change when I get the acoustic in that, but that'll be later on. We'll finish on that, I think. Uh, OD, the OD1 and OD2 channels are basically gain and volume are set to 10. So they're just cranked. And bass, middle, treble, all on zero. Uh, and that's it. So uh, without further ado, that's enough of me waffling. I want you to hear this, this amp because this, this one's very special. So let's make some noise with the Marshall AVT-150, which for 150 watt amp is extraordinarily quiet on the overdrive channels. On the clean channels, it'll put you through the wall anyway.
Oh yeah, Pippa Tube, there you go, there's some sound examples for you of this AVT. I'm speechless because, like I say, I've played through so many of these and never one has sounded like that. Uh, I sometimes thought it was a speaker cab uh, and it wasn't. I was able to outlaw that uh, when my previous one, no matter what I did, fizzed at me. This one doesn't have any inkling of that. It's just amazing. It just sounds amazing. And again, I didn't use any pedals through the tube. It was all you know, guitar straight into amp, no pedals here today. I didn't want to use pedals either. I wanted, I wanted you to show you this amp uh, as is. And um, by Jingo, does it sound rather special? Uh, one thing to note though, people tube is um, the free band EQ on the clean channel only goes to the clean channel. It doesn't affect the acoustic channel. The only EQ part, the only EQ you have on the acoustic channel is the presence, uh, which I s kind of started with it about kind of eleven o'clock and then turned it all the way off. Um, but this amp is just very inspiring. This this one, I mean. Like I say, I've had I've played I've had three of these things and I've played through countless of them and, and no, none of them made me feel kind of like inspired to play. But this one, I just want to keep playing and playing and playing and playing and playing. It's just got it. Whatever it is, it's there, and I love it to bits. And I'm so happy to have a good one. And I knew there was one out there. I just knew it. But I just I was just, I kind of gave up on it though. I was expecting yeah, I'll, yeah, it is what it is. I'll just let it go. Um, because I really wanted an AVT for ages be because of the effects more than anything. Funnily enough, I wasn't really interested in the tone of the amp, but that big reverb that you heard on the, in the intro and the acoustic jam and messing around in between, I really wanted that effect because I, I, I don't know any other reverb that sounds that way. It's a really specific kind of like reverb sound. It's really just like this amp that does it. I can't find it. Because you can get close with particle verb and some other, other pedals and this, that, and the other. But they don't quite respond and feel and sound the way it does with this amp. And it's really awesome. Um, and also, uh, we had one when I worked in Old Hat. And um, it became my go-to amp. Uh, I actually did a couple of demos with it, actually. Uh, I wish I'd bought it. But again, you know, by the, time I wanted, by the time I wanted to buy things, I wasn't allowed to buy them. Which is a bit weird for a shop, isn't it? But anyway, we won't go into that too much. But I really wanted to buy that one, and that was really good. But that still had the fizz on OD1 and OD2. Uh, this one doesn't have any of that, and I don't know why that is. But I'm happy about that, because this thing just rules the day. It's just amazing. And again, it's just completely stock. It's not modded. There are no mods. It's got the original Marshall valve in it, the uh, 12AX7 ECC83. Uh, and it's just amazing. Like I say, it's a shame that the foot, switch, the foot switch is knackered. Um, it's all rusted and, and, and bust, basically. Uh, OD1 doesn't work at all anymore. OD2 kind of works. Clean channel works. The effects don't work. The effects loop doesn't work. So it's a bit knack, to be honest with you. Uh, which is a bit upsetting, but it is what it is. Um, this isn't going to be a gigging amp for me, though. It, this is this is an amp I solely wanted to, like not only like uh, be part of my collection, but for like recording. Because it's got a different tone to my MGs or any other amp I've got. It's, it's got a slightly different sound. And I like that. And again, that reverb was the selling point for me. Like I said, I've never heard another amp with the reverb that's in this sound like sound like that. Um, even pedals. You know, uh, I've got the Afterneath pedal by um, is it Earthquake Devices. Uh, and that kind of comes close, but it still isn't this. And I don't really know why, but... There's something very special about that reverb, that uh, whole reverb in this amp when it's gunned. It's just amazing and sounds like no other reverb I've ever heard. And to be able to have that effect and also have it in an amp that I love and sounds amazing is like heaven. It's just amazing. And again, I really do love this amp. It's just, this one's fantastic. This one's not getting away from me. Um, definitely not. I'm keeping this this AVT because it's just too good. I am scared about the valve blowing and it changing the sound of the amp, but I don't think that really it shouldn't that shouldn't do that with this. It's only a single ECC ECC eighty three, so I doubt that high will high will happen. So I'm not really that not really that bothered. But my brain is like to likes to play tricks on me, going it's going to ruin it, Dave, when that goes. You know, because my brain's my best friend. 
Anyway, moving along. People with a tube, let me know what you thought in the comment section below. Uh, do you have one of these things? Uh, you know, do you love it? What, what, do, what do you? Yeah, what, what is it on your? Uh, what do you like about yours? If you do have one, if you've never tried one, uh, be wary. Uh, like I say, it's took me many. Uh, like I say, I had I had two. There was one in old hat, and I've played through God knows how many others to get to this one. And again, this is like the special one. Now this is this is like yeah, this is like my my AVT baby. Uh, I really want a Marshall Valve State as well. One hundred. I used to have a Valve State one hundred, and um, I had to sell it unfortunately when I, I, I needed money. But I'm I'm going to get another one of them as well. For the uh, for the amp collection because they were amazing as well the 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 AV well the valve states the VSs the MGs and some of the AVTs are really really good and uh, I think they're just brilliant amps they really are and again this one is just oh, outrageous I love it to bits and it's just inspiring which is what you want from uh, any piece of musical gear uh, anyway I hope you enjoyed this video tube on the Marshall AVT 150H. Uh, H standing for, yes, that's right, you've guessed it, hi. It's the, uh, 150. Hi. No wonder I never made it as a stand-up comedian, innit? I tried. Anyway, moving along. Uh, hope you enjoyed this vid, and I'll see you again for another one very, very soon. Have a great morning, afternoon, good evening. Uh, if you do like the vids I do here, please consider becoming a Patreon. Patron at Patreon. Uh, basically, it keeps this channel going. Uh, without it, I could not do this. So if you are a patron on Patreon, thank you so much indeed. Your support is everything. Thank you so much. Um, also, a uh, link to that description box below, as well as a link to my music as well, my band camp, where you can listen to me music. There's a lot on there. So, yes, um, feel free to toddle over and give it a bit of an earwag. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this vid and I will see you again. Have a great morning, afternoon, good evening. I've said that twice now, but hey, you can never say it enough. So I'm going to say it again. Have a good morning, afternoon, good evening and goodbye now.